Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. God bless each of you today as we prepare for just a brief uh, Sunday school lesson and just a few announcements, just a few announcements today. Uh, I want to share with you just a few things uh, and we'll continue to move uh, with our lesson uh, and uh, hopefully you'll be prepared for uh, tomorrow and prepared for uh, worship opportunities later on this week that I'll speak to you about uh, shortly. Let's go ahead and get everything uh, together uh, here as we prepare uh, for this uh, great lesson today. And let me go ahead and share this particular screen. And I thank God for each of you. Listen, uh, those of you who are giving, God bless you. Thank you for your continued giving, your generosity. And I'm, of course, uh, asking that you continue to give uh, and continue uh, to be a blessing to the St. Luke Church. Many of you have been faithful, and I truly appreciate that, as does our leadership uh, as well. The District Sunday School, every Sunday morning uh, this uh, week, uh, the Sunday School lesson, I believe, will be taught by the New Hill Church, and we look forward to a great lesson from the people down there at the New Hill Church. The meeting ID and the passcode are are there. Uh, chapter 13, that is going to be our theme for the uh, conference year. Chapter 13 and uh, chapter 13 does not necessarily have to be the final chapter, but we just want to keep on and asking God to take us a uh, higher, uh, lead us uh, better, and to take us to a greater place because we know that he is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above beyond what we can ask or think. And what I'm learning is to trust God to take us to higher places, to better places, to a stronger vision that God has gifted. Listen, August, August, uh, uh, Tora Jackson, Edwin Stinson, uh, Eric Pinnell, Eddie Baisley, uh, Brother Larry Taylor, Joel Fisher, Al O'Neill there, uh, Mr. Herbert Webb Jr., uh, Barbara Ramsey, Gerald Flournoy, uh, and definitely want to say a happy birthday uh, to uh, Dr. Panay Woods, Dr. Panay Woods, who's the Chief Administrative Officer of the CME Church. God bless you and happy birthday there, uh, Dr. Panay uh, Woods. The New Hope Church will be having a revival this week. We'll start on Monday night on August the 29th. I will be the preacher at 7 o'clock on Wednesday. Let's come out. Let's support uh, the New Hope Church uh, for their revival. I believe on Monday night, Pastor Jessica Lawson, uh, on Tuesday night, Pastor Donna Brooks, and then on uh, Wednesday night, I'll be doing the preaching. And so God bless you. Please make sure we come out. Let's support uh, the church and let's uh, come out and hear a word. I'm going to preach a brief word there uh, that particular night. Uh, tomorrow morning, our attendance has been fine. Shout out. I want to thank Pastor um, David Huey. Pastor David Huey, who preached a great message on Sunday while I was absent. Thank you so very much, Pastor Huey, and uh, thank you for coming in, and thank those of you who helped uh, to make uh, that worship experience uh, as um, simple uh, and as accommodating as it was uh, for my pastor friend who came in and preached. Thank you so very kindly. Listen, this week's lesson comes from the book of Revelation, chapter 22. Uh, I talked about last week... Um, Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Behold, I come quickly. Today's lesson is called Come and Enjoy. Come and Enjoy. The, the, the city has been prepared. The table has been set. And all God requires of us is that we be there and that we enjoy what he has put in our presence. Three takeaways that we're going to take from this lesson. Christ is coming certainly and quickly, verses 10 and 11. Christ is coming as King and Lord, verses 12 through 16. And Christ is coming for the faithful who belong to him, verses 17 through 21. Revelation 21 and the first part of chapter 22 portray uh, in visions and images the very beautiful, the wonderful future that awaits God's people in the new heaven and, of course, in the new earth. And just as Christ's first coming was great news for some and bad news for others, also, his unstoppable second coming will be wonderful news for those who belong to Christ. Unstoppable. It's going to happen. He says, behold, I come quickly. Not, not when, but I come how. I will come as a thief in the night. 
And yes, it is woeful news for those who spurn the message of his gospel. Like the Bible as a whole, it is a book of promise, but it's also a book of warning. The Bible makes promises, but the Bible also gives warning. John's remarkable vision calls the church to examine itself and to take comfort in the incomparable power and the mercy of Christ who comes for his own and for their redemption. He comes to get us. He says, I am the Alpha and the Omega. They are respectively the first and the last letters in the Greek alphabet. And Jesus claims that uh, I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. I am uh, A to Z, Amazon, if you if you sub they subliminally, they point from the A to the Z on their uh, logo, on their icon. And it means everything that you have. But, but Amazon is not the true Alpha and Omega. He is. He says at the very beginning of the vision, he reveals to John here at the revelation of the church. And one last vision near the very end of the vision, by referring to himself as Alpha and Omega, God is making it clear that he is the source of everything. He is the beginning and he is the end. He is sovereign. He is reigning over every aspect of his creation. Yes, he does. Let me just go ahead and read what this text says, beginning at verse 10. Then he instructed me, the angel, do not seal up the prophetic words in this book, for the time is getting near. It's close. Let the one who is doing harm continue to do harm. This text has always intrigued me. Let the one who is vile continue to be vile. Let the one who is righteous continue to live righteous. Let the one who is holy continue to, to, to live holy. In other words, your, 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 your fate is now sealed. If, if this is your choice, continue. Continue in it. Continue in it. For now, the, 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 the time is at hand. The time itself is near. And, you, and the, your salvation has passed you by. So one who is vile, continue. Let who is do, that who does harm, continue. But he says in verse 12, look, I am coming quickly. I'm coming soon. Bringing my reward with me to repay all people according to their deeds. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are in every place. And he sees both the evil and the good. And I, I, I'm glad that the word tells us that we will all have to give it an account for all the things that we have done within our body. We There is no hiding place. <laughs> There's no hiding place. For whatsoever a man sow, that shall he also reap. I am coming to bring my reward and repay according to their deeds. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the first and the last. I am the beginning and the end. I am everything. Blessed to those who wash their robes. They will be permitted to enter through the gates of the city and eat the fruit from the tree of life. Blessed are those. Who are these people? And their robes. These are they who have gone through the great tribulation and they, and they have made their robes white with the blood of the Lamb. Blessed are those who have washed their robes their garments spotless now, immaculate. And they will be permitted to enter through the gates of the city and eat the fruit from the tree of life. They've washed their garments. They've, they've cleaned themselves. Outside the city are the dogs, the sorcerers. And this is the reference to, uh, we live in a domesticated animal age now, but in, in, in those times, uh, uh, the dog was considered to be the lowest of the uh, of the animal family. And outside the city gates, the dogs were the scavengers who lived off the land and they preyed off the, the land, if you would. Outside the city are the dogs and he refers to them as the sorcerers, the sexually immoral, the murderers, the idol worshipers, and all who love a lie, the liars. Yes, they, they, they are referred to as the dogs and they cannot enter in. And Jesus said, I have sent my angel to give you this message for the churches. I am both the source of David and the heir to his throne. I am the bright morning star. The spirit and the bride say, come. Let anyone who hears this say, come. Let anyone who is thirsty come. Isaiah 55, let, he, who, let him come and buy and eat without a price. Let anyone who desires drink freely from the water of life. We talked about that on last week. You remember in John 4, uh, 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 Jesus tells the woman at the well, 
uh, if you knew who it was that was asking you to drink, you would ask of me. And he says, and once you drink from this, you will not thirst any longer. And I solemnly declare to everyone who hears the words of the prophecy written in this book, if anyone adds anything to what is written here, God will add to that person the plagues described in this book. Listen, listen. And if you remove any of the words from this book, God will remove that person's share in the tree of life and in the holy city that are described in this book. So there's danger in adding and there's danger in taking away. God's word must stand. You see, I don't want I don't want the plagues to be added to me, and I don't want my benefits to be reduced from me. Yes. He who is the faithful witness to all things says, yes, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. May the grace of the Lord Jesus be with God's holy people. A final benediction. Come and enjoy. Come and enjoy this place. Come and go with me to my father's house. Yes, on the outside, figuratively, there will be those who uh, uh, there'll be those who suffer. Yes, but, but 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 come and go with me to my father's house, and then, yes, we'll receive the grace that the Lord Jesus gives. This final benediction that He gives us in the last verse. He says, may the grace of the Lord be with you who are God's holy people, my Lord. Behold, I come quickly. Behold, I come quickly. Surely, I come quickly. Yes. Not a matter of when, but it's the how. Last week, as I said, I'm going to go ahead and preach this sermon, Singing in the Dark, Psalm 137. Thank God. Thank you. I don't want you to miss this word. I don't want you to miss this message that God has for us tomorrow at the St. Luke CME Church, 2110 Martin Luther King Drive. God bless you and God keep each of you. Certainly is my prayer. God bless you then.